नमस्कार टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द पंच महाभूतास द फाइव एलिमेंट्स ऑफ लाइफ सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली द कांसेप्ट इज द पंच इज फाइव महा मींस ग्रेट एंड भूतास मीनिंग इज एलिमेंट्स सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फाइव एलिमेंट्स ऑफ लाइफ so the whole universe and this body is made up of these five elements as per hinduism so what are these five elements these are akash vayu agni jala prithvi ether air fire water and earth so these are what these are the five gross elements of life so as these are the five elements and their corresponding there are their subtle elements so subtle elements are nothing but the tanmatras these are the related senses if i talk about the related sense then i need to talk about the sense organ also so what are these corresponding sense organs for ether for akash there is a sense organ ear for air vayu the sense organ is skin fire agni the sense organ is eye and for water jala the sense organ is tongue and for earth prithvi the sense organ is nose so what are the related senses so related senses are the shabd sparsh roop ras gandh this is the way to learn these things the sound through here uh, sorry ear touch from skin sight from eye taste from tongue smell from nose so these are the sense organs or we can say these are our five gyanendriyas through which we perceive these five subtle elements like sound touch sight taste smell so before going to this let us basically understand so these are the five elements as per the hinduism and if i talk about the charvaka philosophy and the buddhism philosophy these philosophy basically don't consider ether the akash as the element of life so buddhism and charvaka philosophy consider only four these air fire water and earth are the basic elements of life hope you have understood as of now so if i talk about the state of these these elements the earth is nothing but the solid state water is in the liquid state fire is in the thermal air is the gaseous state ether is the ethereal or the uh, space basically the space okay so now if i talk about what is the correspondence of these five elements with the chakras we have seven chakras in our body so these five elements correspond to the five chakras what are these earth element refer to the mooladhara chakra water element refer to the swadhisthan fire element refer to the manipura air element refer to the anahata chakra ether element refer to the vishuddhi chakra regarding the tri dosha i'll come to this part but let us first understand the basic the basic of these five elements what are these as as per even even as per the hatha yoga the whole body is is nothing but the kind of a mud pot this body is considered as a pot and pot is made up of what the mud so mud is nothing but the earth element so in pot there is a element of earth there is element of fire 
there is an element of water we can fill the water in this so these are the basic elements are present in our body also and if you'll see the things around us even in the universe the whole cosmos the whole cosmic being are made up of nothing but of these five elements if we'll say the proportion of these five elements if i talk about my body our body our body consists the water element is the maximum what is uh, approximate percentage is 70 to 72% per, 70 to 72% and the earth element is approximately 12 12% and uh, the ether and air akash space and vayu approximately 6% and the fire element is approximately 4% in our body so even if i talk about three doshas this is nothing but three type of disorders as per the ayurveda are present in our body which which brings only if there is a imbalance between these three three things like vat pitt and kapha what are these this vat is nothing but the wind pitta is the bile and the kapha is the mucus if there is an imbalance of these three elements like wind bile and mucus and this is also called vata vata imbalance comes if there is an imbalance between the akash and vayu element then there is the vata imbalance and if there is a problem in the thermal energy then there is a kind of a pitta and if there is a imbalance between the water and earth element then there would be the kapha the mucus and how how these three things vata pitta kapha can be balanced there is the way of the as per hatha yoga there is a con concept of shat karmas we'll study about uh, shat karma in the hatha yoga section so if we'll see these are the five elements this body is made up of i can consider this body is nothing but a unit of this whole whole universe so if i'll identify this body so this body is made up of what the five elements akash vayu agni jala prithvi 